Okay, hi there. So in this video, we're going to look at sharing state across multiple components. So now on my page, I just import the components and put them on the screen. And I leave the state management up to the components and this file here. So previously, this is what we would do. We would use stores, uh, which is no longer the recommended approach. We're going to convert this to runes. So right now, I just have time of day and seeds. And you'll see, so here are the seeds that just for each seed, I show it on the screen. Uh, progress time just moves the clock forward either morning or night just toggles it and then plant seed will push the seed so this so right now the toggle works but the plant seed does not because after pushing in the old syntax I would need to then uh, reassign the seeds so we're gonna change this we're gonna go here to seeds and turn it into a rune so instead of writable it's gonna be sorry it's gonna be state the state rune so now that means here I don't need this dollar sign in front of it with the like we did with the stores. It's just a normal variable. And I can now push it because the new reactive system uh, allows for that. Okay, so now I can plant seeds and they grow, boop, 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 boop. Um, and toggle still works, but let's also try to convert that into a rune. And then progress time, no more dollar sign. And here in the layout, no more dollar sign. Okay, so now I'm getting an internal error. And the error that I'm getting is about reassigning an import. So you can't reassign an import like this, unfortunately. So you would need to, well, one thing you could do if you wanna keep this stores type syntax where you can just export it and update it from anywhere is turn this into an object. So you wouldn't be able to have just a string or like a basic object or a basic type. You would need either an object or a list like this. That's why this is working. So one thing you could do is let's just say, let's just call it our farm and we'll wrap it in state. Okay, and get rid of these. Okay, so, oops. Now we can import our farm and we'll say farm.seeds.push. No dollar sign needed anyway, anywhere. And then farm.time of day. Okay, so now we have this object and we can plant seeds and we can toggle the day on and off. So if you want to keep the similar syntax where you can just import and set and you don't want any protections on your data it can just be set and read from anywhere you just need to make it an object you can no longer use just a string or a number or anything like that so that's one option um, another way to do this would be to create a class or a function that returns uh, the state and updates it so you have some kind of class type thing and i'll show you how to do that in the next video